we asked random people what they understood by this term. And it went like this. No, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm like... I don't know the answer. I'm, I'm editing for my physics project. Or what, what do you want? You want my watch? Ah, you want my watch? Take, take my watch. Do I really need to answer this? But why don't we understand Newton's laws with examples at home? Newton's first law states that an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest until and unless acted upon by an external force. In physics we have studied that every object has a property of inertia. If an object is left as it is, it will remain in that position until an external force is applied to it. It is a property of a body due to which the body doesn't want to change its state of motion. So when in motion it stays in motion and when at rest it will stay at rest. In this case, the dust particles on the mattress want to stay at rest but an external force is applied through the energy transferred from the person exerting force onto the stick which in turn hits the mattress and sets the dust particles in motion. The kinetic energy of the stick comes into play when the person swings the stick and hence transfers it to the mattress. It is usually misunderstood that dust particles gain velocity first. This is wrong. It is the mattress that gain velocity first which causes movement of dust particles. That is why particles remain on the mattress where the stick hasn't been hit. If there is an unbalanced force acting on an object, it produces acceleration. And this acceleration is directly proportional and in the same direction to the net force. Also, it is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. During the pandemic, only few members of the family can go to the market, which means a lot of things to buy and, and a lot of load to carry by just one person. We have all experienced that the heavier bag seems very difficult to carry. On the other hand, the lighter bag is very easy to carry. Why does this happen? There are two forces that are acting on the bag. Mechanical force applied by your hand that pulls the bag up. At the same time, gravity is pushing it down. Since the acceleration is in the upward direction, the net force is also in the upward direction. The mass of the heavier bag is greater compared to the mass of the lighter bag. Hence, more force needs to be applied to carry the heavier bag compared to the lighter one. If the same force is applied on both the bags, the heavier bag will produce lesser acceleration compared to the lighter one. This is how Newton's second law of motion can be applied. Hello everyone, I am the Protection Student. I am going to be explaining to you all that how during this lockdown we can maintain our fitness levels by learning about the principles of physics. I will be talking to you about Newton's third law of motion. Every reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. Without further ado, let us begin. Very basic spot job. The principle of physics that we apply here with the third law of motion is my own weight being applied by my feet on the ground, which the ground then reciprocates back. The more force that I exert, the more higher my feet can spread. The second basic exercise is a push up. Again, my body weight, as I exert it upon the ground through my two hands, the ground exerts the same force back to me. Thank you.